to join us wholeheartedly on the United Nations Road to Peace. The stop go truce talks in Korea drag on. General Holds and Admiral Burke arrive at the Kesong headquarters in a vain attempt to find some basis for the resumption of the important negotiations. All along they've had to deal with allegations of bad faith made against the United Nations by the communist delegates. Their latest fantasy is to suggest that UN planes bomb the neutral zone and they try, with the help of maps, to show where the bombs fell. General Ridgway himself has given the lie to these insinuations by stating categorically that no planes were in the area. Meanwhile, at the front, the carnage goes on. While the Red negotiators try by every means to hold up the talks, men of both sides are dying in the battle areas. Here are members of the 1st Marine Division attacking a communist position. Corsair aircraft join in and bombard the Reds with the only sort of argument they apparently wish to understand. Somewhere behind the Korean battlefront, 